can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this triangle, this angle right over here measures 45 degrees. Now from here, from this vertex, let's drop another segment. And this angle simply equivalent to 60 degrees. Now this segment simply equivalent to one unit. And this segment, the base, is two units. So the question is, what is the measure of this unknown angle? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this figure, the goal is to find the measure of this unknown angle. And to answer this question, we will need one perpendicular line. And here it is. Alright, now, how this perpendicular segment help us to solve for this unknown angle. So I will show you. First, let's call this segment B equal to X units. So since the total length of the segment is 2 units, so this segment right over here simply equal to 2 minus X. Alright, now from here, let's consider this right triangle. This is simply equivalent to 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So these two sides are the same. Since the length of this is x plus 1, so the length of this perpendicular segment or this red segment simply equal to x plus 1 also. But given this right triangle, 30, 60, 90 right triangle, this is x. So this segment opposite of 60 degrees simply equivalent to x times square root of 3. So using the property of 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now, what can we say about x plus 1 and x times square root of 3? Obviously, they are just the same thing because they are just the same length as this red segment. So we can say that x plus 1 equals x times square root of 3. Now at this point, we cannot solve for the value of x. So let's combine the value of x, subtract x on both sides, factor out x, and divide both sides by square root of 3 minus 1. So this is the value of x. But we're not done. So let's rationalize this expression. And to rationalize this, let's multiply this by the conjugate of the denominator. So multiply this by square root of 3 plus 1 over square root of 3 plus 1. So we have the result as square root of 3 plus 1 over the denominator square root of 3 squared or simply equal to 3 minus 1 squared simply equal to 1. And 3 minus 1 simply equal to 2. And there you have it. This is just the value of x. But take note. In this 30, 60, 90 right triangle, the length of this red segment simply equal to x times square root of 3. So the value of x times square root of 3 or this red segment simply equal to square root of 3 times the value of x, which is square root of 3 plus 1 over 2. Simplifying this, we get x times square root of 3 simply equal to 3 plus square root of 3 over 2. Now, we have the value of x and x times square root of 3. Now, how about this segment 2 minus x? So this is just 2 minus the value of x square root of 3 plus 1 over 2. Simplifying this, we get 3 minus square root of 3 over 2. And using this 3 result, we can now find the value of this unknown angle. Now consider this right triangle. And at this point, we want the measure of this unknown angle. So let's call this equal to theta. And we have here theta, the unknown angle, the opposite side, and the adjacent side. So we will use the tangent function. So tangent of theta simply equal to the opposite side x times square root of 3 all over the adjacent 2 minus x. And we know the value of those expression. x minus 3 is 3 plus square root of 3 over 2. And 2 minus x simply equal to 3 minus square root of 3 all over 2. So we can replace this with its given value. Now at this point, let's simplify this. Let's multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 to cancel out this 2. And then let's focus on this expression. Now let's simplify more. So let's multiply 
this expression by the conjugate of the denominator, so 3 plus square root of 3. Simplifying this, multiply this, we have 9 plus 6 times square root of 3 plus 3, all over 9 minus 3, or 3 squared minus square root of 3 squared. And combining like terms, and simplify, 12 plus 6 times square root of 3 on the numerator, the denominator becomes 6. Divide by 6, we get tangent theta equals 2 plus square root of 3. And this result is very familiar because we know tangent of 75 degrees simply equivalent to 2 plus square root of 3. Therefore, we can say that this angle theta, or our unknown angle, simply equal to 75 degrees. Therefore, given this figure, then the value of the unknown angle simply equal to 75 degrees. And as always, we are done.